Hi. Not doing anything with myself. That's the intro. So in my YouTube recommended feed, I came across a couple of old videos. They're like news reports that were done back in the 1960s and 70s. They were in Australia, of course. Well, you wouldn't know that, but that's where they were from. Do you indeed think that there is life on other planets? What if we ask some people on the streets about uh, alien life? And uh, my British accent is very stupid. I can't see. Definitely. How do you see this life and where? Oh, I've seen a flying saucer. When, when was this? 1953. You don't think this is a figment of your imagination? Mm, several other people with me saw it. You all had the same figment. And you think this was sent from another planet, do you? I really do. Well, where else would it come from? I know he doesn't sound condescending, but even when he's asking questions, he sounds like he's, Are you sure? Are you sure you saw one? You don't... No, you couldn't have. Are you sure? I think he got decked in the face. Because he started getting like, Bro, I'm like, I'm telling you that I saw it. There were people with me. Why are you not believing me? With your posh accent, you think you know everything. Oh, well, I wouldn't... Um like to even discuss that. <laughs> Why not? It's a debatable point, I suppose. What does he know that we don't know, huh? What do you know? What are you hiding from us? Who are you? Where are you from? Are you an alien? Bro, you said you wouldn't even discuss it. Leave. Don't stand there. You said I'm not discussing it. So just... Well, what, what leads you to say that? Scientific investigation or...? Well, uh, only working off the uh, theory of the um, Bible. Well, there's only one world, isn't there? And... I don't think the Bible, anywhere inside it, actually I should probably refrain from making any religious comments, but I would, no, no, that's, no, just gonna tiptoe around that, just like, it's not very efficient, like, God would be like, oh yeah, so, um, next time I'm not gonna have an orange person uh, run a country and almost run it to shit. Trump jokes. In your opinion, do you think there is life on other planets? No, I hope not. Why, why do you hope not? Because they'll be frozen to death. Huh? You what? You'd be what? I'm sorry, who? Are you in the freezer aisle? On coals? Are you special? Half off. It's only this week. Why am- what? How do you know they're gonna freeze you? That, that's not what aliens do. Everyone knows this. They'll probe you. Do you think there is life on other planets? No, I'm, uh, German. <laughs> That's the best question. If anyone asks that on the street, just say, I'm German. Best answer. Will you like this video? I'm German. Did I do good? Did, did I answer the question? Yes, definitely. Why? Yes. What sort of life do you see up there? Uh, a vegetable. What the? <laughs> Why is that an answer? What? Come back. That, you can't just leave us on a cliffhanger like that. No, okay, yeah, go to your shop. That's, that's fine. Yeah, no, I didn't want to know what vegetable you saw in space. No. Why not? Oh, I don't know. That's you don't think we'll find anything when eventually we land on Venus? Wait, were they planning to land on Venus? Huh. So we didn't land there, we just passed it. So they launched it. So this would have been recorded in August. Yes. Boom, see? Facts and that. Knowledge. Brain tings. Why did I shoot myself in the head? Asking the public something like this, like they don't have any knowledge, maybe ask, I don't know. What, pe what do you call those people who do a lot of um, work? that's science related and it's on facts and you know they would have a lot of knowledge about it what would you call those people yeah no idea i think there is life on other planets uh, and how do you see this life how do you visualize it yourself is it's it rather like, like, like queer looking people queer looking people would you like to get up there yourself and see it on not particularly why not because i like it down here yes i also like it down here but did she say queer people I are queer people aliens? Is this why all the people hate them? Because they're aliens? This whole time. Hidden aliens amongst us. And what did they decide to do? Just like their own gender. This is so strange. This is obviously a joke if you didn't pick up on that. What form do you think it takes? Animal. Because we're animals, aren't we? Well, some of us. <laughs> yes. uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. You're an animal too, you bander. We're all bander. Basically just dista. Like, <laughs> you look like a bander, dude. <laughs> I'm out of here. You look ugly. Yo, I would never date you. You're ugly. Yo, you? You're ugly. Would you like to get up there and find out for yourself? Definitely. Would you? To right I would. To right I would. I'd like to be the first woman in space. Ooh, they cut her off. Like, oh, thanks. The joke's over. Thank you. Thank you. This is the end of the interview. You can go now and do your 
kitchen things. You no, no space for you. You Maybe. think there is life on other planets? Uh, no, French. Uh, no, no speak. Uh, no speak uh, English. French. Vous pensez que il y a autre vie? Ooh, are you fancy, huh? You can speak French. Oh, okay. Pulling out all the stops. You're not gonna let anything slide. You're gonna tell me if there's alien life out there. So let's have a look at uh, Computer Predicts the End of Civilization. This electronic display emanating from Australia's largest computer. Bro, that's the biggest monitor you have? Pfft, that's nothing. I got a 22 inch monitor on my table. That's disgusting. It shows that Earth cannot sustain present population and industrial growth for much more than a few decades. It says 2020. I haven't watched the rest of it, but please tell me nothing bad happens after 2020. Because if it does, oh boy. That's a very ominous looking shot. It's a phenomenal shot and that would be so good in like some creepy science fiction movie. <laughs> so in this piece, yes, the computer predicts the end of civilization. Um, so it's clearly defined with a black marker and he decides to stop on the year 2020. I would just like you to see at all the points he makes uh, where he stops at um, the year 2020 because it's definitely not scary at all. Each of these lines of, of, of letters represents a curve showing some aspect of the condition of the planet. The further out this way they go, the greater that figure is. For example, P represents population and then it starts to peter off. The Q curve, which is the quality of life. We come up to the year 2020 and it's really come right back. The supply of natural resources and this is this curve here. Slowly but steadily, the pool of natural wealth in the world is slowly but steadily diminishing. You see, you saw that? Did you, did you see how everything is working out? Population starts petering off at uh, 2020. Yep, I can, that's, that's, that's happening. Pollution was gonna go up and because of this certain thing that's happening, I don't know if you know, generally around the world is decreasing. It's like as if Mother Nature herself looked at it and went, all right, we've looked at these statistics. I think in 2020, we should introduce a new virus that comes from China. Um, of course, there will be a lot of racists and you know, that will be a whole problem. But I think in the long run, humans will be better off. And action. Well, hopefully, of course, it, it won't be allowed to happen. <laughs> People will take the last possible second to do something. I mean, just look at horror movies. Oh, there's a abandoned woods over there. It's scary. Pl plenty of people have died over there. Plenty of people tell you not to go there. What should I do as the main protagonist? Let's go there. YOLO. The last minute, like, oh, I should have come here. This was a bad decision as he is dying. Laughing glasses are off, trying to put on my serious glasses. I, I would just like to say for the record, I don't like listening to this. It's too real. I don't I don't like that they, they came up with this stuff way before I was born. It's, it's scary, please stop. But I will continue to watch. Dr. Pachai, can you tell me what my lifestyle will be in a hundred years time? What, what's my life going to be like, dude? What, what am I going to be doing, right? You got to tell me, right? Probably you will uh, have a smaller car. No. Nope. Use more uh, common transport means. Okay, yeah, I can see that. That definitely happens more. Work uh, far less hours. Don't think that's true, but it's nice that he thought that would happen. You will have a wider culture, cultural possibilities that, that, that today. Are people more accepting? I, I, I think so. I hope so. Because, I mean, I'm... Basic needs will be taken care of. Yes, you won't be pestered by immediate needs. But you will be pestered to go and get toilet paper for some reason. You will love nature. <laughs> ah, I... Trees are cool. They give us oxygen. So, you know, big plus there. Good job. Good job, trees. You're doing good. Protecting it? I don't think we are. All right, last video. We're gonna have a, gonna have a check it out at. Should husbands help with the weekend housework? <laughs> yeah, certainly. Ah. Yeah, instead of them going so out. Too. Have you been married long? Yes, a good many years. I think at a certain age, you just you know decide to relinquish any kind of. Wait, why am I talking on the subject? I'm not even married, or am I? No, I'm not. No. No, I'm gonna stop this. <laughs> Should I? It all depends on. 
And if the wife is sick or anything like that, well, I think they should. Are you married? I am. So it comes the weekend and your wife as well, you don't do any work, so that. But he'd be the kind of guy who would say, some of my best friends are brown, so I have no problem with immigration. But I think we should slow it down and not get the bad ones, you know? Oh, well, I have plenty of other work to do outside, like the gardening and all that sort of thing. Yeah, gardening. We all know what that means. Right? I don't. And action. Do you think that yes. husbands should help their wives with weekend housework? Yes, I think they should. Oh, are you married? No, I'm single. You cook? Why wouldn't he cook? He needs to eat. What, what, for what reason would he not know how to cook? Well, uh, I don't eat very much. So I cook now and again. We can tell you don't eat very much. You look... I've been out of work about two and a half months. <laughs> Yo, same, dude. Oh, good lord, no, no, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say that, I don't oh, think I should do why that. Why is that? Just checking out your hair in front of the lens, you know, as you do. Most of the guys who are rec reluctant or who are stuttering a lot, they definitely don't help around the house in the weekends. They uh, just say it so they look good on TV, you know? Definitely. I think that husbands should help with the weekend housework. Hey dude, could you like, I don't know, maybe back up a little bit, you're kind of just pushing her into like a wall. I don't know, he kind of like, so do you think uh, men should do housework? What do you, what do you, what do you think, huh? You got an answer? I guess that means the dad can sit down most of the time. And now he's out most of the time. Yeah, he's out most of the day, he doesn't come back home. He comes back drunk usually. <sighs> that's for sure, why shouldn't they? Oh, you're married, are you? Yeah, well, that's a Just name. about. <laughs> what do you mean just about? Well, uh, let's say in two weeks. Oh, I see. And you've got your mind made up already how you'll organise it. Wow, what a condescending dick. Oh, you've made your mind up already, huh? You haven't even delegated with your man, huh? What do you think? You're the man of the house? No, you're a female. Still know your position. Yo, people used to really be like that. That's insane. Yo. Thank God we're in such a good time now. People are definitely not like that. <sighs> so good. Do you think that, um... She's right in the views that you should help with the housework. My word, why shouldn't we? Good on you, man. Fucking legend. Good job. That's a good answer. I don't know if he actually went through with that, but good job. I hope you did. I really do. Do you think oh, that no. husbands should help with the weekend housework? Yes, certainly. All the time, but mine doesn't. You know, he promised you so many things. He said, oh, we'll go to the Bahamas. Oh, I'll treat you like a princess. Now, I'm doing all the housework now, so you know. You know, maybe one day I might... You know, the coffee might be a bit stale, who knows? You know, he should watch himself. I'm gonna kill him, is what I'm saying. That was hilarious, um, looking at old footage of people reacting. It was basically this is what Jimmy Kimmel does, going out of the street asking questions. So, yeah, that's cool. It's good to see people are still as awkward as they used to be around cameras and asking dumb questions that really shouldn't be asked of the public and then being um dissed i'm gonna go now so i have like so much other work to do that i haven't done maybe not for a news report maybe you know have something nicer maybe pull out a bit you know you know I suck. Oh my god, can you not leave the door? I'm recording something. Oh, yeah. So, and then you. Well. What? Doesn't matter, I'm in jokes. No, go. Wait, we'll keep. Hold up. Wait, when were women given rights because they're a different species from us? They're not. No, that's terrible. Um. I don't have a point.